This game um, focuses on Romance Road and it was developed by my master's student Octavia Lee as part of the MSc in Ethical Hacking and Cybersecurity. So it is a serious game to try and educate people about romance scams. So romance fraud is essentially where um, a scammer is on the likes of a dating platform and they engineer a, a fake relationship with a victim with the, the end goal of conning them out of money. Uh, they message them back and forward and then they try and shift them off to another platform, so off the dating platform into the likes of text messaging, emails or WhatsApp where they can't be detected by the dating platform. They build up this fake relationship and then they ask for the likes of money. It's a, a VR based experience. Um, VR is obviously quite an immersive environment. Um, as part of the game, you play the role of an AI inside someone's device, uh, so a potential victim's device, and you're seeing the messages coming in from all sides, from dating platforms, from friends and family. So the game shows you the types of tactics that scammers might use to try and con someone out of money to scam them. Um, and it also reflects the impact that a romance scam can have on the victim's family and friends. So for example, scammers quite often try to, to isolate the victim um, to request money. There can be a, a fallout in the family. If someone gets scammed out of quite a lot of money, you know, their, their inheritance could be gone. Um, so it can cause fractions in, in family as well. And it has a huge impact on the victim. Basically, they suffer a double hit. It's not just the, the financial loss, which can be huge. Uh, there was a report a few years ago on the BBC where someone lost £300,000. Um, but it's also the, the loss of what was perceived to be a real relationship as well, so the emotional fallout is huge. At Aberdeen, we've got the Division of Cyber Security, and as part of that we've got the Cyber Quarter building over the road from the University, um, and through that we're looking at how to keep people safe online, for example, so one of my research areas is romance scams, and how do we raise awareness of this, how do we protect people and how do we reduce further victimisation.